Leadership's role is to ensure that basic human needs are at the center of every relationship in the workplace. Every aspect of my work centers on the concept of peace. And for me, the definition of peace is um, human security and the ability to live a life of dignity that's free of fear. We're living in an era of the human experience where the lines between work and personal life have been so blurred that um, we really are thinking less about work-life balance and more about a blended life. We don't become different human beings inherently once we walk into the door of our workplaces, but we have learned how to shut ourselves off. We have to bring our whole self into the workplace, and we do bring our whole self into the workplace, but we shut down pieces of ourselves as we go through the day. And what I hope people walk away with from my presentation is the critical importance so of really being able really to um, be authentic and to experience the fullness of who you are in every space that you occupy. So when someone stays somewhere for 20 years, it's probably not because the work they were doing was so extraordinarily exciting. It was because the relationships they were in, in that organization, were so extremely meaningful. Oh, she was great. It was so much information backed by science, so it's not just opinion, which is what I really prefer. And I can tell that the rest of the audience really connected and were really interested in uh, you know, understanding how they could use that information to change the cultures in their company. A lot of people are aware of emotional intelligence, but the way she brought in uh, the cultural intelligence and all the other various elements of intelligence, I found that that was a uh, much wider spectrum that people can educate themselves on in order to uh, increase productivity in the workforce and have people engage and feel more welcomed within it. So yeah, everything she said was very impactful. As humans, we have so much power to create change. And I believe that quantum organizations are the pathway for that. What people begin to really understand when they, when they hear me speak is that we're all leaders. We all have the ability to influence change and we all have the power to create the change that we want to see in our own organization. This is a journey. It is not a destination, which means that as leaders, we need to be constantly learning, unlearning, and relearning and knowing that this is a journey we're gonna be taking for the rest of our lives, and that by acting on and really cultivating leadership intelligences, we'll be able to show up in each moment for what that moment is needing from us.